This is Twit. Okay, so uh, a f- weird and fun bug hit iOS. Um, an interesting and somewhat humorous bug was discovered in iOS's parsing of network SSIDs. There's long been a concept in programming languages, at least since Fortran, uh, because I recall it being there, of using a so-called format string to describe the shape of the contents of either incoming input to a computer or the way some output variables should be formatted for presentation on output. So, for example, an output greeting might be formatted as a string, hello, space, percent sign, S, where when that format string is used, the percent sign S tells the computer that the next argument to the function is assumed to be a pointer to a string. In this case, the percent is known as an escape character, and the character or characters that f- immediately follow it specify the details of the format. The percent is called an escape because it signals the text parser to stop treating the input string at that point as literal text sent to the output and instead to insert some special formatting control. So, for example, percent %d might tell the parser to, cre- to treat another argument as a date and to format it accordingly. And if the programmer wants to actually output a percent, then percent percent is often used. Okay, with that bit of background, a security researcher who is poking around at iOS somehow discovered, and don't ask me how, he, he'd, he'd like, well, let's try this, see what happens. He discovered that, that if a Wi-Fi network's SSID name, you know, the name like that you see in public when you are like, you know, it comes up in a list of you can join any of these networks. So that's that's the name that the beacon is broadcasting, the SSID. If it is set to <laughs> percent sign P, percent sign S, percent sign S, percent sign S, percent sign S, percent sign N. So percent sign P, then four S's, you know, percent sign S's, and then percent sign N. And an iOS device then attempts to join any Wi-Fi network having that name, the device's Wi-Fi would become immediately and semi-permanently inoperative. A restart reboot would have no effect, and all logon attempts to reverse that change would fail. Any attempt to re-enable the Wi-Fi subsystem to fix the trouble would immediately crash before the user could use the subsystem to resolve the problem. So... This is one of those things that's sort of our collective fault in the security business, but, and more broadly, the programming business, really, by choosing a programming design pattern which places convenience way in front of security. One of the things that must be done when a string that's under the user's control might be processed by code that's parsing for escape sequences is for the user-provided string to be explicitly de-escaped first. In the example case I provided above, this would mean doubling up any percent characters so that they would be seen as the percents that they were apparently intended to be, rather than as the active escape sequence, which would cause the parser to reach for a subsequently provided argument, which in this case would be absent, 
and would almost certainly lead to a crash. So what must first have happened is that the SSID string, which itself looked like escape formatted text, confused some formatting parser somewhere in iOS and likely caused the the internal Wi-Fi system to completely hard crash and crash and crash and crash. So the concern was that as news of this spread, and I mean every tech uh, site that I saw, you know, had fun, you know, spreading the news, that the concern was that as news of this spread, annoying jerks would immediately begin exploiting the discovery. And indeed, that did happen. Postings began to appear telling naive users that they could obtain much faster Wi-Fi by renaming their access points accordingly. Shh, don't tell anyone. And of course, you know, when they did that, their, their, all their iOS devices crashed. Fortunately, after some additional experimenting, it was discovered that the device's Wi-Fi function could be restored by going to Settings, General, Reset, Reset Network Settings. That would flush out all of the existing sticky stuff and resolve the problem. So how do we get into this trouble in the first place? We would really have to say that it was, langu it was lazy language design. The practice of mixing special meaning control text in with literal text is nothing less than a kludge. Some form of separate out-of-band specification should be used to govern such formatting. Mixing those functions into, you know, together into a single stream is a recipe for disaster. So why do we do it? We do it because it is so much easier to do it that way. And as a result, many languages do. Recall that when an HTTP GET query contains arguments, they take the form of a question mark followed by the, the name, an equal sign, and then a value, so-called name-value pairs. And they're joined with an equal sign. And those name-value pairs are separated by ampersands. But what do you do, you know, but how do you have a name or a value containing an equal sign or an ampersand? Once again, we're mixing literal text with control characters. It can be done safely. You know, I, I lived in that world throughout Squirrel's development since there was a lot of that going on, and I was terrified of making any mistakes there because they would almost certainly be devastating and because, you know, it's so easy to make a mistake. Languages, protocols should not be designed so that it is easy to, I mean, like, like you almost have to do it wrong. And it's so, so difficult to do it right. You know, and indeed, Countless mistakes have been made through the years with this HTTP f formatting uh, since the very beginning by, by web programmers who were not being sufficiently concerned and cautious because, you know, the system is begging you to make a mistake. You know, and while I'm certain that the details of iOS's Wi-Fi are different in detail, um, and that the problem will be trivial to repair, it does appear that exactly this problem is what just bit Apple. So did, it's... Uh, did, uh, uh, the, pardon me? Go ahead. I was going to ask, ask if the MacBook Weekly guys had yeah. any additional No, I, I explained that it was a format string. Yep. Uh, percent %p is a pointer. So what you would do normally is a printf, and you'd put the format string in, and then you'd follow it by the things that correspond to each of the items. So of the P, R arguments. You'd have right. a pointer. Percent S is a null terminated string, so you'd have four strings, and then you'd have a new line. Uh, I'm guessing that what that actually got interpreted is as, as a pointer with four zeros. In other words, a null pointer 
right? And that crashed yeah. it. But I don't, who knows? What they, maybe they do some URL encoding with it. They're doing something weird with it. And you're right. Why aren't they sanitizing those inputs? It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I it's, mean, you don't and, trust and, yeah, everything clearly, that comes in over the transom. <laughs> yeah, uh, again, uh, the the and that's the point is you sh it sh you shouldn't have to the 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 language design should not be such that it's this easy to make that mistake. Well. This mistake keeps happening over and over and over because the language design right. is insecure. It's right. lazy. Yeah, it's, it's so easy and convenient well, that's that that's C. what many languages and, do. And I'm guessing that it, it is C that this whatever code is handling it is written in, or Objective C maybe. But um, that was the whole point of C. Was it lets you do anything? Dereference yep. pointers, reference pointers, point to any part of memory. Uh, you know, allocate memory at random, overrun it at any, at any point. That's the point of C. Uh, C lets you do anything. Right, and it's popular comes. because programmers are jocks, and you know, <laughs> we love it's like, it. get out of my way. I don't, and I, don't, I don't want any and I don't want any garbage make a mistake. Oh. I want to collect my own garbage. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> stay out of my garbage. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, again, I, the, the, this is like for our podcast such a perfect example of something that should not have happened because. It shouldn't be up to the programmer to be like to be careful against the 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 built-in mechanisms of the language they're using. They shouldn't be using a language that can do this that way. But we are.